And our question from a viewer is, what is ABA? All right, so ABA stands for Applied Behavior Analysis, and um, it gets its name from the science of behavior, which is behavior analysis. And that science um, is not always applied. Sometimes it has to do with basic research um, and things that are done more in the lab with animals and things like that. But once we get into applied behavior analysis, then it becomes um, using the science of behavior towards meaningful um, things in our environment that everyone would pretty much socially agree are meaningful and um, that need change. So this could be anything. Um, since we're looking at the science of behavior, it's any behavior. It could be someone needing to quit smoking, lose weight, um, going into organizations and helping them to increase their productivity of their employees. Um, you name it if there's a behavior that you're trying to increase or decrease, that's basically what it is. And so um, ABA is not synonymous as autism treatment, although you will read a lot of times um, ABA treatment for autism mm -hmm. everywhere, and that's that's okay. It basically means we've made ourselves on the map as a, a um, application of a science that's very relevant for a particular population, but remembering that it can be learned to teach anybody anything. Um, and oftentimes, too, one thing I want to note is that I've heard people, when they use the term ABA, they'll use it synonymously with um, DTT, which is discrete trial teaching. And so they might say something like, oh, I, I don't like that ABA stuff. Um, I tried that and it didn't work with my child or something like that. And it's just sitting at and a then table. What they are um, actually yeah. referring to is that someone who was implementing bad ABA mm -hmm. and just did DTT sitting at a table, trial after trial, um, the same thing over and over again. And it was very rote and it wasn't flexible and they didn't add in other teaching procedures that are within the ABA umbrella. So DTT is only one uh, teaching procedure within the ABA umbrella. There's many others as well. Um, and um, so that's one thing to be a little bit careful of when you're thinking about ABA and what exactly it is. You gotta have quality ABA. But uh, when you have quality ABA, it's been shown time and time again scientifically to be very effective at creating progress with individuals who are on the autism spectrum. Oh yeah, there's a lot of research on that and um, I would say probably close to a thousand studies now at this point wow. that um, show that ABA is effective at either teaching them something or um, helping to eliminate some challenging behavior that they're exhibiting.